Hi there again. Welcome back to Building a Modern Employer Brand podcast with my colleague and employee and my friend, Nora Nykänen. This is part one about employer branding professional growth journey with my guest, Nora Nykänen. As I explained last week, she won the Employer Branding Professional of the Year Award at Magnet Awards Finland 2024. And uh, like last week, this week, we continue talking about her uh, professional career, uh, her growth story, and uh, you know what she thinks about being an employer branding professional. So let's get back to the episode with Nora Nykänen. So as our final question, what advice would you not give to someone who is considering a career in employer branding and is inspired by your achievement? Again, a really good question. And yeah, I, I would say uh, go for it, first of all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I have actually three tips. I would start with that. Uh, starting with a recruitment role might be the best move, I would say, or with a role where you'll get the 360 view of the company and its people. Uh, I, I began my career in recruitment and I found it incredibly beneficial for my work in employer branding too, because the recruiting gives you that re- ringside view of, of the company and its people. You get insight into the various aspects of the business, understanding the challenges, the pain points that employer branding aims to address and knowing how the company operates helps you told the same way as the management and making it easier to get their buy-in for, for your employee branding initiatives. So that's that's my like number one tip. And then then I would say stay curious and keep learning. Uh, curiosity and, and a thirst for knowledge uh, are essential in this role. Staying curious and continuously seeking knowledge keeps you also at the top of your game and, and mm-hmm. equips you to innovate in, in the realm of uh, employer branding. And yeah, podcast. Okay. So, 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 so yeah, <laughs> that's, you, you can start there. So then, uh, of course, persistence uh, pays off. So success didn't happen overnight. As we know, uh, employer branding is a long-term endeavor that requires dedication, hard work, and, and in this role, Mm, you must have the foresight to envision long-term goals and and dealing with your plan on a daily basis. Also, remember to have fun while doing it. That's actually really, uh, I would say, crucial part of it. Even though you have to, those would be my my three tips. Really good tips. I want to like go a little bit deeper with the first tip, which is going on with recruiting. I also yeah. agree that if, cause I've had like the full Monty of an HR career. I worked mm-hmm. in in-house HR developing, have done like everything from developing HR processes to coaching, you know, supervisors and uh, working in recruiting and employer branding and developing company culture. I've done like, everything. So I would say that is like the best way or the best road into employer branding as long as you are ready to understand that mm-hmm. uh, I would say that even though it's really important to have that internal knowledge about the, the product that we are actually building the brand for called the authentic company culture and the employee experiences working in-house keeps you your mindset also in-house and when you work in talent acquisition, you have to think outside the organization. You have to be interested in people outside the organization, approach them. You have to be interested in your competition for the same talent. Mm-hmm. What's going on on the talent market? Who is hiring the same talent now? What are your compet- competitors doing? So you have to take this kind of an outside in view, mm-hmm. which helps you to learn more and recognize more like what are your weak points or your strengths and things like that. I think one of the weaknesses in employer branding for a lot of people are that they don't they don't remember that they are not operating in a void. But yeah, you know, there's <laughs> a whole world out there and uh, the talents are not only looking at them or mm-hmm. paying attention to them, or maybe they're not paying attention to them at all because 
someone else, some competitor, some people working for a competing uh, organization are far mm -hmm. more interesting and they prefer yeah. to pay attention to those people mm -hmm. or organizations instead. So I think that's really good. Number two, curiosity. Super important because if you have this drive to con continuously learn and keep yourself, you know, ahead of the game, because that is the biggest driving motivator for me as an entrepreneur and as an employee branding professional is that as long as my brain works, I want to be the best in the world in employee branding. And that is like the biggest motivator for me to keep learning and making sure that I am mm. constantly up to date on the relevant information, the knowledge, the skills, what's, what goes on in the world and uh, how, uh, and in the, like the business operating environments and how they get employee branding and important things for the top mm. management. Uh, so, so you have to, you have to like be on the top of that, but you also have to be, in that curiosity and in that learning mind, you have to be able to prioritize the information that you do mm. need because the world is full of information and you can't be on the top of everything. So you have to like prioritize, like, I need this. This information is more valuable for us and our clients than this one. So I'd rather spend this time that I have available on this one. So that's also important. The ability to say no. Yeah. It's and like then fun. Yeah, because definitely yeah. we are having fun with our clients with whom we, yeah. you know, do this work. So yeah. definitely it's really rewarding. Has yeah, to be. Yeah, no, it can get quite stressful when you have yeah. like those goals and objectives. So yeah. remember to have fun along the way. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, those goals and objectives, it's not like they come easy. I mean, no. we do a no. lot of work. We put yes, in a lot do. of work. But mm. because of this systematic approach, we don't have to like reinvent the wheel over and over yeah. again. And yeah. it, with our trailer system, you know, mm. this whole archive of information and content and, and copy text and links and everything that we can like reapply and reuse and repurpose yeah. and reshare. So that that's like we also have have a system of um you know being smart with your time investment don't mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. all right nora thank you so much for uh your time and uh just thank being you who you are i love working mm -hmm. with you and as said it has been you know happiest time of my my employee or the the entrepreneur career the time that uh you know i've had with you working together with you i don't i mean we've had amazing employees in the past as well so mm. this is no means i've loved all the employees that who mm. have ever worked for us and who have ever been able to work with it's not that it's just that during the times in it, like before um, the way that i had organized my work was so stressful uh that I didn't get to spend as much time in a way, like working, ha you know, together with any of those former employees that I get to work with you now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I wish I would have Thank looking you. back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, that's why uh, it's a it's a really happy time now. Yeah. Nora, a lot of our audience are probably following you already, but if mm -hmm. somebody is not and they would like to connect with you, mm -hmm. where can they find you? best what's your preference would say the best way to find me is uh, either on linkedin or uh, on instagram and on instagram you can find me uh, at nora nykanen that would be a bit difficult for <laughs> i'll put it in the show notes yeah. Thing, but yeah. yeah nora yeah. nykanen and then nora nykanen at, on linkedin as well so, yeah 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 and nora's instagram is so aesthetic if you love aesthetic instagram then you love her profile i yeah. don't have an aesthetic instagram because i'm pushing out all this uh, educational content it is aesthetic uh, is your, it, your, okay it's from it's from well, yeah. It's, yeah. i guess it's also actually because because your style in everything is very like earthy very like mm. um this is like in a way, low key and like very har yeah. harmonious. Yeah, it's quite minimalistic. Also, it's yeah. minimalistic. Yeah, yeah. When I, yeah. I am not a minimalistic person. 
<laughs> yes, big. So I guess <gasps> yeah. my Instagram is uh, looks like me, and yours looks like yeah. you. As it yeah. should. Yeah, as and it I like should. To, yeah, and I I like to paint that as a like a visual diary or or mm. something that. Yeah, I I like I like taking pictures and editing them yeah. and so on. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go check them cool. out, but yeah. yeah. Yes, you should. <laughs> Thank you, you so should. much. Yeah. All righty. Thank you, everyone, uh, for such a great uh, uh, time. I hope you had a good time. Me and Nora had a good time. <laughs> and uh, loved being able to share Nora's uh, quirk story with you and the impact of the Magnetic Employer Branding Method and this podcast with her becoming the best uh, uh, employer branding professional of the year in Finland. So uh, definitely an amazing thing. Go connect with her and, uh, you know, engage with her on socials as said. This is uh, the end of this two-week episode. So last week was part one, this week part two. And next week we have Mayu from Airbus, Finland. And after that, it's going to be a hiatus for this podcast until I get that magnetic gameplay branding method book out to the editor so that's it thank you everyone <laughs> Alrighty, righty moin 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 that was it it's a wrap for nora's growth story and development story as an employee branding professional of the year amazing i love working with her and i thought that this chat that we had in last week's and this week's episode was just so much fun. I mean, even though we work side by side on a daily basis, we don't really talk about stuff like this. And it's not also part of the magnetic employer branding method that we also use at Emine to talk about us like this to our audiences. So we never create content like this because our branding uh, is also about our customers and our you know future talent. Um, this was a super special moment and two podcast episodes for me and Nora as well. So thank you so much. As always, the show notes and the links are in the show notes article that you can find at www.modernenvoyobrand.com forward slash podcast 184. Come back next week. Bye.